everybody, this is Michelle. I wanted to give you an overview of a website tool, a website builder that you can use for your final project lesson. The one I'm showing you right now is called zunal.com, Z-U-N-A-L.com. Once you register and log in, you're taken to a dashboard. And in the dashboard, you can update your profile, which I recommend that you do. And you can create a web quest. I'm going to click create a web quest. And I'm going to create a new web quest from scratch. Just be forewarned that Zunal, the free version, only lets you create one free web quest. So if you want to do another one, you have to delete the first one you did. You can only have one at a time. I'm clicking create a new web quest from scratch. I'm going to put a title in here. Mine's going to be a no-brainer, EDU 649, but I'd like you to name your, uh, your lesson something more relevant, something that relates to your subject matter. I'm brought into the Zunal template. At the top left are a series of menu items that we, we can manipulate and rework, modify to meet our lesson needs. And there's this block of menu items towards the middle that you cannot um, modify. And there's a block at the bottom in gray that you cannot modify unless you are using the paid version. So the only ones we're going to worry about are, is the block of menu items along the top. And we're going to start with the welcome page. Here we are at the welcome page. And you can't do very much here. You can add the description, the grade level, curriculum, some things in here. But you can put a banner in or an image. So I'm going to put in something to just kind of uh, make my website a little bit more inviting. I created a banner. I get a funny warning message. I just click continue. And it puts in my banner. Okay, I'm going to move on now to the next item in the menu um, series to the left, the introduction. Here we are on the introduction page. One more time, I'm going to add my banner, update image, browse. There's my banner on my local computer, and I say save. And there I am. All right, and below my banner is a little... Uh, block of text gives you an idea of what an introduction should do and one of the things is it's where you hook the learner's interest so you want maybe to ask an intriguing question or something that kind of gets them pulled into your lesson but the other thing that I'd like you to do is um, I just clicked update the content of that text block so we want to motivate your learners here in the introduction, but we'd also like you to provide a um, provide a nice description of your lesson, subject matter, subject matter, and audience. Okay, and also provide overarching goals of your lesson. What are the learners going to be able to do after they've gone through all your learning objectives and they've come out the other side of your lesson? What is it that you really want them to be able to do after that? So once complete, what can your learners do that they couldn't do before? Okay. Okay, I click Save now. I get this little button, Saved. Please continue. And here I am on my introduction page with my new text that I just typed. I'm going to move on to the Task button. And I want to give you a heads up that you can change the name of this, these menu items. And I think that you should change, if you want to, the name task, because I think it's kind of meaningless. I don't think it has a lot of meaning. 
in my sense, I'm going to, over here to the right, there's a series of buttons that let me do different things with this page. I'm going to say rename, and I'm going to rename the menu title. I'm going to rename this one to Lesson Part 1. So I'm in, with that in mind, I'm going to rename this page to Lesson Part 1. And I say continue. Takes a second to update. There it is, lesson part one. Again, I can add my banner and I can update my content. I'm going to go now to the, the fourth button to the left. And to me, again, this is going to be a continuation of the middle part of my lesson. So this will be lesson part two. And I'll save that. Oops, forgot the second part of that. Let me get this long page title, lesson part two. Save it. And again, I can add my banner when I'm ready to do that. And I can go in and modify the text block by clicking update content right here. Let's go here to the left again. Notice we have a button called evaluation. I want to keep that button, but I want to move it to the bottom. I want to move it one, let's see. Yeah, I want to move it to the bottom. So I'm going to take that evaluation button and I'm going to move it down. And it moves down right there. And if I wanted to, I could move it down one more. And now the evaluation is at the very bottom. The conclusion I also want to move down. So I'd want it to be lesson part one, two, three, and then the conclusion. So I'm also going to click on the conclusion menu item and move that down. Okay, and now I'm going to change this teacher page. I'm going to rename it. And this is going to be lesson part three and lesson part three. Save it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show you now. So on the left, I have welcome introduction lesson part one. Again, I'd like you to rename it something like, you know, subject matter overview and then maybe or introduction to the to the content so it, if I'm teaching about resilience I would say introduction to resilience and then I would say something about activities on resilience or resilience activities and then the last one would be uh, I, a um, a, bio, uh, a biography of someone who was a resilient person so biographies something like that, then conclusion and evaluation, okay? So if we go back to lesson part one, we're gonna go in to all of these lesson sections and under update content, I'd like you to, I'd like to see a step-by-step, step-by-step um, description of, of your lesson. Okay, this is as if uh, someone is teaching it that doesn't know you. So you're handing this lesson over to someone. They're just starting fresh. They're looking at your description of the lesson right here, and they're going to teach it. Okay, so include full description of activities and your learning objectives. Those go here, okay? Then step by step uh, process list for each activity, breakout, etc. So right down the list right there is where you're, you're gonna have a full-blown part one lesson right here. I'm going to save it. I'm 
and here it is. Now, if you want to add a web link, you can do that by simply going back into your update content and say that I want to add a web, web link, link. And I'm going to put, um, let's see, of my Duo Lingo. I'm going to add a little web link of this uh, language learning website that I like a lot. Okay, so I put the little placeholder there. I highlight the word that I want to be linked. And notice that I have some tools right up here to the top, not very many, but I can add a link. So I highlight the item I want to link down below, and then in the icons at the top, I click Add Link. And it says, well, what's the URL that you want? So I'm going to go to the website that I like, this little Duolingo website. I'm going to go back to my webmaker. Okay, and I'm going to highlight that word again, click Add a Link. And I'm going to paste that link in, and the title will be Duo Duolingo Website. Now, please pay attention for a second. I'd like to ask that you open your web link in a new window. That way, the new website that you send them out to does not interfere with your lesson. If you had it open in the current window, that means it would push aside your lesson and open that website right there on top of your lesson, which we don't want to do. We want it to open in a new window. You have to click Submit Query in order to, so before you click Save, you have to click Submit Query. So once again, I highlight a word, click Link, put in my URL, put in my title, and then I put new window and I submit the query right here. And now there's my two links. I say save now. And voila, there they are. And again, if they're not working here, I can click preview mode. And it shows me what it's going to look like to a user or a learner that comes along. There we go. I click my link that I just created. It opens up in a new window. And here I am. And I go back to my lesson and it's all good to go.